Hello everybody, this is Al with Bobcat Cam, the software company, and today I wanted to take a look at some standard versus advanced strategies. Now these all come with either the version 25 or the Bobcam V3 for SolidWorks. Uh, specifically, we're talking about profiling. Now I've talked about this in the past. This is a side roughing option where we can tell the software how much stock is left and how many passes we want to take in order to clear that stock. And specifically, I want to look at the transition from uh, one pass to the next and you can see that it will make a uh, right angle or perpendicular move and uh, that transition uh, you know in harder materials is really not the best solution so I, I wanted to talk about another way that you can approach this which is a standard feature in the Bobcad cam software Okay, now we want to look at uh, using open pocketing to perform the same uh, same result. Uh, what we're going to use is the advanced pocketing strategy. Uh, we've selected our outside profile as a dotted line and then our inside boundary. And you can see how this strategy approaches uh, the cutting routine a little bit differently. It's going to progressively work its way in. It has a smooth transition from the outside shape to the inside shape, uh, which is a much more efficient way to remove material. It's better on your tooling. Uh, it's better on your machine and uh, allows you to generate a better cut. The next thing we want to look at is uh, a standard pocket. In this case, I'm using a traditional offset type pocket, and the tool is going to come into the material. Uh, you can see that the tool is being buried as it transitions around the profile. But one of the things that you'll notice is I'm taking a, a very aggressive with a cut. I'm using 100% of the cutter. And with a traditional offset style strategy, uh, you're going to end up with stand-ups. You're going to end up with material that the tool does not clean up. Uh, you could change to uh, a zigzag pattern, but uh, there is a better way. And, you know, not in all cases you're trying to cut with 100% of your cutter, but if you can and it's, and it's a softer material, you're definitely going to choose to. So if you're using a traditional offset style strategy, this is a scenario you're going to run into quite a bit and you're... Uh, you know, to continue to use this strategy, you would have to reduce your step over. Uh, again, it's a, a good way, but doesn't give us the best result. And using our advanced pocketing, uh, which is a standard feature, uh, we have a little better option for you to, uh, to utilize. Here you can see the stand-ups and the leftover material. Now as we take a look at our advanced pocket strategy, you're going to see the, the tool motion is approached a little bit differently. It enters as a spiral and it's working its way out. Again, we're using 100% of the cutter, but as it continues to trans, uh, transition from cut to cut, uh, you can see the tool really isn't buried. Uh, it's a nice, smooth, circular cutting motion. And as it works through to the other side of the pocket there, you'll see that there will be no stand-ups left. Now in this exam example I use used uh, bi-directional cutting so it's going to work its way um, uh, climb to conventional. You could use a single direction cutting if you wanted uh, where you could have it climb the entire way and it would rapid reposition as it went from cut to cut. But again, uh, you know, when it comes to pocketing, this is a, a more efficient way to, to cut your pocket. You don't have any stand-ups. Uh, you're cutting with nice uh, uh, smooth transitions and uh, you're not burying your cutter. Uh, again, uh, a better option than a traditional offset pocket and comes standard with Bobcad.